And you know, my parents never once stopped praying for me. And there's that verse in Proverbs that says, train your kids in the way they should go, and when they're old, they will not depart from it. Let me tell you, if you are a grandparent or a parent in this room that thinks it's never gonna happen, it will happen. The to me is that people have this misconception that because you're a minister's kid, you pop out being godly and perfect, and guess what, we're screwed up. Us preacher's kids are screwed up, you know? So here I am, a complete mess, embarrassment to my family, I am still going through a hard time, and I meet this wonderful man. I'm almost like embarrassed to tell it, right? Because it sounds so pathetic. <laughs> to this younger guy than I, um, that had been referred to me by my lender. He's like, he's my nephew, take good care of him. Didn't expect it to be that good, but it's all right. I took good care of him. So today I'm taking really good care of him. <laughs> but here's the cool thing. So I actually had somewhat of self-control, which was really cool because now my needs weren't being met by men or by other things. Man, God placed him. I never thought God would place a man in my life because I thought it was over forever. But uh, God placed him in my life so strategically. This guy was just such a disciplined man. And just so, you know, and I need, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> I need a little discipline in my life. So, so it was a really neat thing, which I would never be attracted to that because I'm like, disciplined? <laughs> It's pretty radical, thank you. <laughs> so, God is crazy like that, woman, but we need to take the first step to surrender. Because guess what? What we don't surrender, he can't work with. The other woman going, watch out, here comes the husband stealer. Yeah, you know, she was probably like, here's a slut. You know, I mean, something bad. Is that acceptable to say? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but it sounded appropriate for the situation. <laughs> and no respectable man would ever sit down and talk to her. I mean, that was like a no way. But Jesus did. Jesus did sit down and talk to this woman. I go to God, I don't know how many times a day. You know, I may not be getting married every other week anymore, but I am far from perfect. Far from perfect. Don't tell my husband that, because he thinks I'm perfect. <laughs> so, you know, the gospel is for everybody. You know, obviously there was something wrong with this woman. I mean, this woman had struggles inside. She was hiding out from everybody. She was obviously depressed. She was obviously guilty of a lot of sin in her life. But you know what? Jesus gave the woman an extraordinary message. Fresh, fresh, pure water that would quench her spiritual thirst forever. Why would Jesus offer the water if she didn't have any issues? He wouldn't need to, right? But that is why Jesus came. There was a desperate inner thirst that she had. And I know that many of us today may be feeling that inner thirst.